All right, we are live everywhere, everywhere. <laughs> uh, guys, welcome to the Real Results Podcast. We'll talk about that in just a second, and I'll introduce you to the podcast because Patty and I are just going to be going off, so um, I'm not going to be looking across the screen, but like for right now, Instagram, hello, TikTok, hello, and everybody else. We got Facebook, Instagram. Patty's going to be signing autographs after this. <laughs> so, guys, if you're joining in, um, hashtag I'm here. If you're watching on replay on any of the platforms except TikTok, unfortunately, um, we're going to put hashtag replay, okay? So, if you're watching live, hashtag I'm here. If you're watching on replay, hashtag replay. Today, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are going to be talking to my amazing client, Patty Lopez, who has lost over 40 pounds. Um, good job. You can give yourself a pat on that. <laughs> um, who's lost over 40 pounds uh, and kept it off um, despite like feeling frustrated. And I know, and we'll talk about this a little bit deeper, but I know when you and I initially spoke, you're like, I'm not afraid of putting in work. I just don't like, I'm like a deer in headlights when I walk into the gym and I don't know what I'm doing. So we're going to be talking about that, um, but before we do, Patty, let's give the audience a bit of a backstory on who you are, um, how old are you, um, and what do you do for work? Let's start there. So, my name's Patty. I am 30 years old. I'm a single mama to three little ones. Um, I work in the medical field, so a lot of the time I don't get, I'm not like that active during the day while at work because I am stuck behind the desk um so not much activity going on while at work um but the kids keep me busy while i'm at home so i have three little ones cool who keep me very busy awesome awesome and um before you and i worked together um you were stuck right like you kind of felt kind of stuck where you're at um can you tell us what what was your biggest struggle and difficulty in feeling like what got you stuck and what were you struggling with in your fitness journey? Um, I think it's just like, I finally reached like that point where I'm like, okay, I don't want to feel like this anymore. I was not happy with how I looked and how I had like no energy to even do anything. Like I did not want to do anything. So I was just stuck. Yeah. And I needed to change that. What was your biggest struggle? Um, I think just not knowing where to start. Yeah, yeah. Not knowing where or how to start. Tell me more about that. So not knowing, like, fitness-wise, like, workout-wise, like, what do I need to be doing? Like, if I would have walked into a gym with, like, no instruction from you, Mm -hmm. I would have been like, um, I'm just going to, like, do everything once and then go home. Yeah. I'm just gonna jump on jump on each machine that's here. I'm like, I think that's good. I think Dude, I think it's a good workout. One set of everything and like get it yeah, get in and out. Everything. Yeah. And then like nutrition wise, like obviously I had no idea what I was doing nutrition wise because obviously what I was doing before got me to the point where I was, you know, forty pounds ago. So nutrition wise I was lost. Like what I didn't know what I should have been eating or what to be eating in order to be, you know, reaching my fitness goals. So I was lost nutrition wise too. I had no idea what what I should have been eating. Okay, so you had so you had no idea what to eat. Um you probably would have just walked in a gym and done one set of everything and walked out and probably not yeah. stepped in again. Um yeah. and uh tell me about like how was this how was this like negatively impacting you? Because, you know, as as you said, um, it's not like you know, what you told me is you're like, I'm not afraid of putting in the work. I just don't know what to do and how to do this. So like, how was that negatively impacting you? I think just the stress of it all, like not knowing how to start, like I wanted to. Mm. But then, like, the stress and, like, the anxiety of, like, okay, well, how do I do it? How do I start? Like, that was just, like, throwing me overboard. Yeah. Yeah. What, uh, what was, like, 
what was the most thing, what was the biggest thing that you were anxious about? Like you said anxiety, what was the thing that was... Ooh, ginning, right? (laughs) (laughs) It's a real thing. You're like, and and without having like a game plan, you just felt like it was even like, it was even more to the forefront. For sure. Yeah. For yeah. sure. Um, so when you and I first met, because you and I were talking for a while uh, before you joined, I was like, I, right before she joined on this, I was telling her, I was like, dude, I'm going to get her on this program no matter what. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I see the potential and I'm going to get her to join. Um, so why don't you talk to me and tell me, like, what was your biggest uh, hesitation in deciding to work with me and deciding to work with Real Results Fitness? Um, I think the hesitation was just like the fear of not knowing, like, what if I don't put in the work that I'm supposed to do? Mm. Like, what if I can't do the work that I'm supposed to do? Mm. Like just the fear of not knowing. Okay. What else? I'm curious. Like the fear of not knowing what? Like (laughs) just like not knowing like how the program was going to be, you know, because this was going to be my first online program yeah i've never done an online program before you know and i have like previously i used to just go to like uh fitness boot camp okay um i did that and then i think that was probably like the only thing i actually did was like fitness boot camps and that worked for like a short period of time but then i wasn't eating towards my goals Mm -hmm. so then as soon as i stopped going to that those boot camps then the weight would just come back okay so you you had done boot camps in the past, um, and you would lose a lot of weight. But then when you weren't like when you weren't doing all that, you'd gain it back. Um, what was your diet like back then, as opposed to where it's at now? All over the place. I w- I would go work out, but then I'd still eat like shit. So it's like, yeah, I was working out for nothing. Yeah, yeah, and uh, it's funny you say that because like. I feel like a lot of those like super high intensity stuff, um, you can eat, you can kind of get away with a bit because you're burning so many calories and you're going like what, six to seven days a week sometimes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but then it's like, you're a single mom and you're extremely busy in your job. So it's like, that wasn't sustainable probably mm-hmm. for you <laughs> over, the, over time. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so what else had you tried before you and I worked together besides boot camps? What else had you tried? Like, what other stuff had you tried? Because, um, I'm assuming that you tried other things other than, you know, because you were online, right. And we were following each other. So like, I'm assuming that you were following other coaches and trainers and stuff as well. And like, I don't know, influencers. So like, um, what other things had you tried in the past? I tried going to the gym. A few times that didn't work out. I probably signed up and probably went like less than five times because it was overwhelming. Okay. And then I tried, you know, the easy way or not the easy way, but I tried weight loss medication too once. Okay. That didn't work out. Right. <laughs> okay. So, we tr- so we tried the boot camps. We tried the weight loss medication. Um, tried doing it on your own just from like kind of following and it was, Mm -hmm. it didn't work. Um, so we've been working together for what, about eight, eight months ish now? I think, I think so. Yeah. So why don't you tell us what sort of results, um, that we have been able to accomplish while working together? Results, of course. (laughs) Been able to lose the 40 pounds and then not gain any of it back. Yeah. So I think, and then just like the knowledge that you have given me as far as like my nutrition, I feel confident in the decisions that I'm making now. Um, like I don't stress if I have to, if I don't prep one day, I don't stress and I don't like knock myself down if I have to like improvise with like other food because I know how to like fit it into my macros now. Yeah. But it, it, I don't let it stress me out. Like one bad day it does not determine my future. Hell yeah. That's what I love to hear. Awesome. So, Mm -hmm. so you learn to, it sounds to me like you learn to not be a perfectionist so much, like not have like an all in or all out mentality. Yeah. Because then that was just going to mess with my head if I tried to be like 
perfect. Yeah. Mm-mm. Nobody's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be perfect. And you've done like, you've had a lot of events, um, like in the eight months that we've worked together. Uh, I've had a lot of birthdays. You have a pretty big family. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I have a big family. Um, you're a Disney goer. So like, how were you able to manage, you know, through family parties, right? Through going to Disneyland, through all these obstacles, um, you know, so eight months, what are we in November now? So what do we sign up like February, March, something like that? I think March. March. So like between March and November, there's a lot of seasons in between, right? And a lot of parties mm-hmm. and a lot of Disneyland. Um, so talk to us about how you were able to manage um, manage during those time periods. Planning ahead. Mm. Talk to knowing, us about that. Knowing where I'm going, what I'm doing, and try to try to plan ahead to try to make sure that like I'm not just guessing what I'm gonna eat yeah. and trying to plan ahead. Like if I'm going to Disneyland and if I know if I know there's one thing that I for sure want to eat that day and I know it's probably not gonna be like the healthiest, but if I can try and fit it in, yeah. And I'm gonna fit it in. Yeah. But I try to choose at least like one thing at Disneyland that I know I want or want to try and then try and fit it in. That's so awesome. I make sure to have like a protein shake in the morning and then I take like my snacks. I'll take protein drinks or like um, the popcorn. I forgot what the popcorn is called smart, that I bought. Smart pop? Or, uh, yeah, I think. Yes, yeah. yes. I think that one. Yeah. So that way I have popcorn and not have Disneyland popcorn. Yeah. having popcorn. <laughs> yeah. And, and, so I just uh, try and take my own snacks. Awesome. And uh, for everybody that's like watching live or on replay, like Patty's not just like eating protein just for the sake of eating protein. Like, We've set actual like goals for her to hit these numbers, um, but also, which is like one of the biggest things that I, you know, I'm I'm so glad that you've like implemented it, right? Is the fact that like when she's going out to Disneyland, for example, she's like, all right, you know, I don't go often, so I do want to try and fit this food in, and she looks ahead, so she makes it work within her plan, okay. Um, and that allows, like, you could correct me if I'm wrong, but that probably allows you to have some more freedom instead of like, oh, man, I'm like going to Disneyland and I'm not able to eat this and this sucks yeah. and I hate this journey. Mm-hmm. It makes it more enjoyable and knowing that you can fit it in and not feel guilty about it. Yeah, that's awesome. I love mm-hmm. that. I love that. Cool. Um, and then it's nice coming back from a trip like that and not seeing the scale like rocket high, yeah. maybe even lose a pound. Yeah. When you come back. What was happening before? Nice That's huge. What was happening before? Tell us more about that. Like before you and I worked together and you would go to Disneyland and you would maybe oh. try to do it on your own. Mm, I wouldn't care about what I was eating. Like I'm going to eat everything. <laughs> I want that, that. I'll get two of that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Awesome. So, um, what's been, what has been like some of, like just name two or three things that have been some of the favorite parts of your program uh, of us working together? Favorite parts of the program is the guidance, knowing that you're going to be there. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like for my birthday, yeah. I was like, Patty, <laughs> my birthday weekend. <laughs> Not gonna count what I'm eating. I'm gonna enjoy my weekend. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Yeah, don't even worry about it. Yeah. Enjoy it. So I think just knowing that you're there for whatever like issues or whatever comes up, love that. Yeah, love that for sure. Thank you. And then my workouts, love that it planned out for me for the week. I don't gotta think about what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Walk into the gym like, right? What am I doing? No, I know what I'm doing. Yeah. I yeah. know what I'm doing. And then all the like stuff that you give us to for like our nutrition, like I still go back to some of the stuff. Like if I'm missing like fats or carbs and I still go back to like this thing that you gave us on the app and I still go back and I'm like, okay, what can I eat to make sure I close that? Oh, like the go, cheat right, sheet? I got it. I got it. Yeah. The little cheat sheet? Yeah. Yeah. There's a cheat sheet that you have on there that has like if you're missing like fat and carbs or fat and protein or just one of each. And then I'm like, okay, what can I do? Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, it, that. Like, yeah, I know exactly what the list Take where. Take that work. Yep. Yeah. It's like in its own little categories. Love that. I still go back and reference that. 
Very cool. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. That's that's mm-hmm. huge. Um, that means a lot. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and Patty, you started with home workouts because um, we did have some like gym anxiety, right? You're like, eh, let's start I wasn't at home. ready. I wasn't yeah. ready. <laughs> <laughs> so like, I know there's a lot of people that are watching that are like, well, yeah, Patty's better than me. Like, she's going to the gym now and that. But, like, guys, we started Patty at three workout days a week from home, right? Yep. Like, you were doing it, like, mm-hmm. just, like, in your room or you were doing it in your backyard and you were just doing mm-hmm. it in the comfort of your own home. Yep. Yeah. That helped a lot. I think that's what helped me slowly gain my confidence. I'm like, okay. I think I got this. And then that's when I was like, okay, I'm ready. Yeah. I'm ready for those gym workouts. Yeah. I didn't even put, I didn't, I didn't approach Patty about it. Patty's like, all right, Patty, I think I'm ready for gym workouts. I was like, oh, okay. I was like, let me, (laughs) let me program these real quick. (laughs) I was ready. I think that slowly gave me my confidence back and feeling like, all right, I can do this. I'm ready. I love that. Awesome. Um, Okay. So, uh, I want to dive a little bit deeper, ask you a little bit like uh, um, not surface level question. Um, so, you know, one of the biggest struggles that you said was like losing the weight and doing it sustainably uh, because you were kind of like lost in your fitness journey. Um, but outside now that, you know, you're these 40 pounds down. Um, he lost 30 pounds before 30 years old. Like that was one of the main goals that she told mm-hmm. me So he lost 30 pounds before 30. We're at the 40 pound mark now. But like, let's talk about outside of fitness in your day to day life. Um, outside of fitness, what would you say has been the biggest changes that you have seen in your life? I think just being able to keep up with my kids now, not being so tired. Mm. <laughs> the energy that I get back and then my clothes. I have to buy new scrubs and I, oh, I'm just going to wait a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so my clothes fit so different. And then, I mean, of course I noticed them more in my scrubs because I wear that more on a day-to-day basis. Yeah. So it's just like that feeling of knowing like, wow, these are new, really big now. <laughs> That's awesome. So you're feeling, you're feeling the difference in your scrubs. You're feeling the difference in your clothes. You're afraid of buying a new wardrobe because <laughs> because you know you're going to continue <laughs> losing more. Um, but that first thing you mentioned like really stood out to me um, because I know I know that was one of the things that you said, and I know there's like a lot of moms listening yeah. and watching right now, or will be w- listening later. Um, but how did you feel before? Like, were you running out of breath playing with your kids, oh. or like what was going on? I had no energy. I didn't have any, I didn't even want to like go outside of them because I just had no energy. Mm. And then of course I was like overweight and not in the best of shape. So yeah. I couldn't keep up with them. Yeah. And they're little, they're very active. Yeah. <laughs> so they want to be everywhere. And yeah. I'm like, I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. And now they're working out with you. Yes. They were, <laughs> when I was working out at home, they'd be outside working out with me. Yeah, they're like doing the push ups and stuff with you. That's it awesome. was the funniest thing ever. They yeah. were like literally copying it, the, my workouts that I was doing at home. That's fucking awesome. That's awesome. Um, yeah, that's, that's huge because I know that that was one of your biggest things. You're like, I just want to set, I want to be able to set the example for them. And um, something that I say to like, you know, my clients, I'll like, cause we, we do like private lives and whatnot with, with clients, but like something that I, that I say to them all the time is like, um, and I say to everyone all the time when they have kids, like kids will do what you, um, kids will follow what you do more than what you just say. Right. So yep. like, mm-hmm. if you're like eat clean and you need to eat your broccoli, then they see you like going out and having a Big Mac every day. Like they're not going to follow <laughs> that. Right. Yeah. But but for you, you changed that completely. Like you changed it around. You didn't even, I'm, I'm doubting that you were like, Hey, get your ass out here and come work out with me. <laughs> like they just ended up working out no, with you. They just followed and then they seen me working out. So then they were trying to do the same thing. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. Very cool. Um, guys, if you have any questions for Patty, type it in the comments and I'll see if I can go back. Um, but, uh, I have one last question for you and, 
um, for anybody, Patty, that's like watching this right now um, or listening to this and they're thinking about starting their own fitness journey, like what would you say to them? Do it. (laughs) Don't hesitate. Do it. You are going to feel so much better once you actually have like a routine and just like just start killing it. And then once you start seeing results, you're just going to feel so much better. The confidence that you're going to have in yourself, you're going to feel amazing. It's scary at first. Obviously, it's scary at first because you're like, I don't know. But once you do it, the feeling is just going to be so good. Yeah. And this is like from a coach's perspective, this is really cool to hear because you went from working out like maybe one to three days on and off to working Mm -hmm. out like four days a week now consistently and basically never missing your workouts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because even in the beginning, I was still like, "Mm, I would skip one or two a week and I was doing my home workout. Yeah. And I was like, oh, it's okay. But now I'm like, no, I need to get my four workouts in. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) You're like, this is, you, you, it sounds it's to me like. It's part of my life. It's yeah. my lifestyle now. It's part of my life. Exactly. Like, you actually are enjoying doing it, it sounds like. Yeah. Because then it's also like me time. Going yeah. to the gym, it's me time. And then it helps me decompress and just, I got a new mindset. Try so that way when I gym. come back home, okay. I'm good. Yeah. I love it. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Awesome. Cool. Very good, very good. Any uh, Anything that you'd like to leave the people with? I think... Join Real Results <laughs> now. Gang, gang. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, honestly, it's been uh, like, like, I mean, we're just getting started. Like, But it's, it's so cool to be able to see your transition. Like, Patty sent me pictures from one week into her... Um, one week into when we just started to like where she's at now. And it's like fucking crazy. Com- Mind blowing. Completely <laughs> uh, different person. So uh, yeah, like 40 pounds, like you're, that's a whole, that's a whole kid that you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's, that's crazy. That's awesome. We're going to hit the 50 pounds before the year ends. Yeah. Oh, you guys heard it here first. 50 pounds. Mm-hmm. All right. Like you just, <laughs> you just said it all over Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube. Yeah. You're going to have more than one accountability coach now. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, Patty. Thank you so much for uh, doing this. Everybody in the comments say thank you to Patty for doing this. I hit her up. Uh, on very short notice and she's like what oh okay i'm I'm nervous nervous. (laughs) (laughs) so everybody in the comments just say thank you to patty um and i want to personally thank you for uh doing this um i know you have a busy schedule and gotta take care of the little ones i know you're gonna wake up early tomorrow to get your workout in so am crew checking in am crew (laughs) (laughs) so i appreciate you so much patty um and if you guys have any questions and you're watching on replay just put them in the comments um and we'll i'll uh, get to you all right that's it hope you guys had an amazing day um and we're tuning off for the real results podcast (laughs) yo if you guys are watching on instagram or tiktok or if you're following on tiktok and you're not If you're watching on TikTok and you're not following me, make sure to go on Instagram, Real Results FTNS. um, So that way you can get more of this stuff. All right. Instagram, TikTok. See you guys later. Bye.